Finally, it comes to the fifth movement. Obviously, you know, five movements, that's unusual. People weren't writing five movement symphonies. Uh, but uh, Schumann did. And the fifth movement starts out with a wonderful, simple melody. And he writes dolce. Dolce means sweetly. It's usually played in a kind of joyous way. He didn't write that. He wrote it without any staccato marks, without any marks to say you should play short. The second half of this melody is written with the staccato marks, is more angular and uh, lighter and more effervescent, more joyous in a sense. And this juxtaposition of these two ideas, this sweet dolce idea and this joyous idea, permeates the whole beginning of this movement. The second theme does the same idea of, of a long contrasting theme with occasional short notes, but he's always bringing you back and forth. The development section is quite extensive. Uh, Schumann had tremendous imagination, and he was able to combine this kind of dolce with the kind of staccato sections, the short notes, and uh, it works really quite remarkably well. Finally, the initial theme comes back with the strings playing tremolo and aggressively and the horns answering the, the, the theme, but uh, it comes back quite loudly now. So in other words, instead of being this dolce melody, it is an aggressive melody. Again, he brings back the second theme and the original key. Now, what's most interesting, obviously, as we've seen Beethoven develop is the coda. So the whole ending in this is fantastic. It starts with a glorious fanfare in the brass with the strings answering and then the strings joining into that fanfare. The whole end is based on the chorale theme from the fourth movement. If I didn't tell you that, and now show it to you, you wouldn't even notice probably. But in, in the back of our minds, we hear that, and there's a certain familiarity. It makes us feel very happy and content in hearing the music because it seems to make sense to us somehow. And this uh, ends in a fabulous way with, uh, with a tremendous activity uh, by the full orchestra and the horns with their fanfares that we hear throughout and the, and the brass to be one of the, the great masterpieces, I think, of uh, middle 19th century symphonic music.